Rolling Stone magazine is apologizing this morning after scathing review discredited a controversial article. The magazine retracted its November story depicting rape at a University of Virginia fraternity, but the publisher told the New York Times that editors will keep their jobs. The blistering report released last night by Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism called it a story of journalistic failure that was avoidable. Juliana Goldman is at Columbia University in New York City with details of the report. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Well, the report says that reporters and editors had multiple opportunities to verify the details of one person's story, and they didn't. A Rolling Stone editor says that they were too deferential to the requests of an alleged rape victim, but Columbia says that's not an excuse. The report says Rolling Stone set aside or rationalized as unnecessary essential practices of reporting that, if pursued, would likely have led the magazine's editors to reconsider publishing Jackie's narrative so prominently, if at all. The most consequential decision was that Rolling Stone didn't contact three friends whom Jackie said she had spoken to the night of the alleged assault. Be portrayed in that way, I think initially it was difficult. In March, we spoke with Alex Stock, one of the friends Jackie said discouraged her from going to police. He said that wasn't the case. I think that the article really gave people who are looking for a narrative something to latch on to. The report's investigators say the article's author, Sabrina Rubin Erdely, did not provide Phi Kappa Psi, the fraternity in question, with enough details for them to investigate the allegations and properly respond. It says Rolling Stone did not do enough to identify Jackie's alleged attacker. Erdely interviewed Jackie eight times and pressed her to reveal his last name, but she refused, saying she feared for her safety. Closing in on deadline, editors authorized Erdely to tell Jackie they would stop trying to find her alleged attacker. The magazine gave him the pseudonym Drew. We certainly can't say that something didn't happen. No evidence to support it. A Charlottesville police investigation ended in March and could find no basis to support Rolling Stone's account of Jackie's assault. I don't think we can definitively say we know what happened, and in that sense, you know, there will always be that lingering doubt. I always wondered uh, privately long before the article came out what really did happen that night. Jackie didn't cooperate with the Columbia investigation. The Rolling Stone reporter apologized and called the report brutal and humbling. Gail, on Sunday, the UVA president released a statement calling the magazine irresponsible and said that the article damaged efforts to address sexual assault on college campuses. Juliana, thank you.